We're back out here once again, and today we're talking all about these guys, the famous Yamamoto Senko, the original stick bait, and why I really don't like these things. Stick around, we're going to talk all about it. Ah, gotcha. That's another good one, that's another good one. Oh, that may be bigger. Oh, yeah, that's bigger. And here is this video's featured comment. Congratulations. If you would like to have a chance to have your comment featured in an upcoming video, all you've got to do is leave a comment. And now, on with the video. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing. And when it comes to soft plastic stick baits, there are hundreds to choose from. You've got large companies, you've got small companies, and you guys know that I love a soft plastic stick bait. It's one of the most versatile tools out there for catching fish. Every angler in the country has them in their arsenal, I would wager. And you guys know I've got all kinds. I've got the Ochos, I've got Zlinkies from Zoom, I've got my own homemade ones. I like the cheap creams, these things catch a lot of fish big bites, shimmy sticks, and of course, the good old yum dinger. And that's just a small handful of what I personally have. I've got all types of stick baits from all types of brands. And for the most part, I really like them. But there's one that really sticks out. The elephant in the room. The original. The first. Gary Yamamoto's Senkos. These were the original. This is what everything else is copying. And anglers love these. And I know, I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate for making this video. I'll probably end up losing quite a few subscribers over it. But it's the elephant in the room. It's something that I feel needs to be said. The stick bait, the original Senko from Gary Yamamoto Baits, is not that good. I don't like them. And it's different from when I said I don't like the jackhammer or when I said I don't like mega bass baits. See, with mega bass, they're fine baits. They perform well and they catch fish and they're high quality. My thing is, is that their price point is so high, I don't see a need to buy mega bass jerk baits or Okashira heads or mag draft or any of those sorts of things simply because I can do the same thing for far less money. My wife has always said that I would pinch a nickel until it begged for mercy. So I tend to be a bit thrifty, a bit frugal, and it served me well. But if a bait is going to perform as advertised, I don't mind spending the money for it if that's what it takes to catch the fish. You know, a lot of times I'll spend more on it. A good glide bait, for example. Now, I'm not going to be buying a KGB um, Chad Shad, you know, from Spro. Those things... I'm not paying $60 for a glide bait, although I do have several six cents glide baits that run me about $25, $30 a piece, and they do the same thing. They're actually really good. But getting back to the Senko, everybody loves the Senko, and I'm about to give you the reasons why they are not really on my list of baits that I use often at all. And I've got a whole bunch of packs of these. I've got more than just this one pack. I have got several packs of these and if you've been watching this channel for however many years I've been doing it, 300 plus videos of all the fish catches that I have, of all the hundreds of fish catches that you've seen on this video, and the hundreds of fish catches I've done with Senkos and stick baits, none of them were with these. Not a single video that I showed of me catching a bass or any other type of fish with a stick bait was done with the Yamamoto Senko. That's part of the problem. See, I'm not one for following trends. I'm not one for following fads. And I'm not saying that is, but if there's something that I don't like about something that's popular, I'm not afraid to say the emperor has no clothes on. And I feel a lot about that with the Senko. I just don't think it's a very good stick bait. And it's not just the price point, right? Yes, they're the most expensive ones, but it's not even that. Yes, they're very soft. Again, it's not even that. 
I like the Guggen Bates Lunker logs. A lot of guys don't like them because of how soft they are. But a Senko is just as soft. I have no problems with that. In the right situations, soft is exactly what you want. It all depends on the type of action underwater that you're looking for, what you're trying to achieve with the presentation or the technique that you're using. Sometimes you want a stiff worm. Sometimes you want a more soft worm, right? Like if you're fishing a wacky rig. A wacky rig, a lot of times you'll want a softer worm because that gives it that extra flat down in the water. That gives it that extra amount of glide. You're not going to do something like a yum dinger generally with a wacky rig, although I have. But these tend to be a little bit stiff. Now, if you're going with a weighted wacky rig, something like the Waco rig, then this is going to be your ticket to success because that extra weight will actually cause this to have more action imparted to it. If I'm doing something like the wacky jig, you guys have seen me use the wacky jig many times on this channel, and a lot of times I'm using something like this or the Yum Dinger. These, like I said, you know, buck 25 in that box there at Walmart. I'm telling you, they are worth a buck 25. They catch fish. And they're kind of a tougher plastic, so they'll last more than one fish catch. These, what are they, eight, nine bucks a pack in some places? That's not uncommon. But these right here, one fish maybe. And I've never caught a whole pile of fish on those Senkos. Yum dingers, shimmy sticks, the cream worms, those I catch quite a few fish on constantly. I use them for NACO rigs. I use them for wacky rigs. I use them for Waco rigs, Texas rigs, what have you. I even put them on the back of a jig as a trailer or as a shaky head and they work very well. But the Yamamoto Senko never really has performed for me the way that those other stick baits have. It's just not something that's ever been successful for me. Again, I know there's going to be a lot of guys who have a problem with this, but for me, I don't know what it is about them, whether it's just something that the fish in my area don't really care for. I've used them in more than one lake. It's not just the big lake. I've even used them in the private trophy bass lake just to see, you know, this is going to be an easier spot to fish. This is a private lake. There's a lot of three pound, five pound, seven pound bass in this. Will they eat a Yamamoto Senko? And they haven't. And I've tried it with a Waco rig. I've tried it with the tail spinner worm. I think maybe I've caught one or two fish on all the bags that I have of Senkos. And it's not really a confidence thing because I have confidence in plenty of different styles of stick baits. Just not those. Those don't get bites for me. So I got to call it like I see it. You guys know that I make videos about things that I don't like rather than the things that I do like. And I know that I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I know a lot of people are going to tell me that I'm dumb. I know a lot of people are in the comment section right now telling me what an idiot I am. But I would wager there's a fair few guys who've always thought that the Yamamoto Senko wasn't all that, but because of the stigma behind it, because of saying something different, saying something against the norm, it's an invitation for people to attack you, right? If you say something that's against the grain, a lot of times you can get a lot of grief over it. And I know I'm going to get a lot of grief over this. I'm not saying that if you want to use Senkos, not to do it. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm just saying I don't like them. And I don't think a lot of guys like them either. I think there's a large population of bass anglers who don't like Yamamoto Senkos. They'll like a Yum Dinger. They like a Shimmy Stick. They like you know, a Zoom Zlinky, they'll like um, Elastec Worms uh, by Z-Man, you know, like for a shaky head or whatnot. But for the most part, these things, a lot of guys are probably in the same boat that I am, where you see these, you know how good they are, you know how great they are, everybody and their brother's telling you how great they are, you've got pro anglers here, pro anglers there, everyone's telling you how amazing they are, and they don't catch fish. That to me is the determining factor. That is the single greatest determining factor when it comes to bass fishing. Not just price point, not just how that bait feels, not just how it reacts in the water. The ultimate determination is, does it catch fish? And if it doesn't catch fish, then it's a failure. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. It doesn't matter how soft or stiff it is, how scented it is, how salted it is. 
whatever, what array of colors they come in, none of that matters if it doesn't catch fish. And that is exactly what this boils down to. Yamamoto Senkos, for me, don't catch fish. If you like them, then that's fine. Get down in the comments section and you guys tell me just exactly how you feel about a Yamamoto Senko. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Have you ever even tried them? Are they too expensive for you? Or is it maybe just something that you don't fish often? Who knows? Let us know in the comments section below. And for me, you guys know what I think about these. I think I've made that clear. There's so many other better choices out there. Not only are they cheaper, they catch fish. And in the end, that's the most important detail. So there you have it, how I really feel about a Gary Yamamoto Senko. They were the first, but I certainly don't think they're the best. And that's really the point of this video. It's okay for other people to think different things about different baits. What matters most is, are you having fun whenever you go out to the water? Thanks for watching, Low Brow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.